What's up guys, Brian here. As you probably already have heard, the new M1 Macs that have been released about a month ago are one of the best Apple computers yet. The new MacBook Air and Pro are faster and have a longer battery life. The new Mac Mini uses way less energy and are powerful at the same time. Now putting that aside, I've been using the new Mac Mini for around two weeks now and I wanted to discuss something that hasn't really been talked about in the tech community and that is the support for ultra-wide monitors or should I say the lack of. Let's get to it. Just to let you know, I've been editing photos, videos, watching 4K content, even using software that hasn't been optimized for the new M1 chips. And everything works perfect. I don't have any problems in that aspect. But the only problem that I faced was getting the max resolution off of my monitor. As you can already tell, I have a 49 inch ultra wide monitor, 5120 by 1440. And I won't really go into depth on that in this video. You can watch my previous video on that setup. But long story short, the max resolution that I get once I plug in my Mac Mini into my monitor is 3840 by 1080. I mean, is that really even half of the resolution that my monitor provides? Right now, once this is plugged in, it pretty much just stretches out a long aspect ratio and everything looks pretty weird and blurry. I mean, it's not really the clearest picture ever. And I've tried using different cables, different adapters, and nothing. I can never max out that resolution. Even if you use the HDMI or USB-C to display port. Apple does claim that it does support 4K and 6K monitors, and it works on their XDR display. And how does that work? But how does having an ultra-wide monitor, which is technically 5K, how does that not work? It could be a hardware or a software issue that Apple hasn't really given it support. And honestly, they might not even care about it. And I do want to take this opportunity to also say that using a monitor through the HDMI, no problem at all. Every time I go to sleep, wake it up, no issues. But when I plug it in through USB-C, I have had a lot of issues. It takes me a long time to wake this computer up or to have the monitor to even recognize the computer. I have to keep unplugging my cable, plugging it back in every time my computer goes to sleep. It doesn't recognize that there's an output going out to a monitor. So if you're in the market of purchasing these new M1 Macs and have an ultra wide monitor, it's probably not the best idea to get it unless you know the trick on how to maximize your resolution. And I'm going to tell you that trick right now. The only way, and I'm telling you right now, the only way to get 5120 by 1440 on your monitor is to do these two steps. And those steps are, number one, download Switch Res X. This is a software that allows you to choose the resolution and the aspect ratio that you want. So this software will show you the stock resolutions that your computer provides as well with the long list of resolutions that you want to use. Now once you have that downloaded, just know that you will not see that resolution right away. Because the next step, step number two that you'll have to do is to enroll into the Mac OS beta. Okay. By now a lot of you are not interested anymore because you don't want to have a beta software on your main computer, right? It could be risky. So once you have the beta installed and your computer is already rebooted, you go back to Res X and you will now have 5120 by 1440 unlocked on that software. And if you do have a 120 Hertz monitor, good news for you, you will also have that unlocked. So you will have the best of both worlds. You have better multitasking, more space for all your tabs, at a quick and fluid refresh rate. It was that simple. Well, really, it wasn't that simple. You have to download all these things and then the beta program, but 
You know what I'm trying to say. You're gonna make use of your computer, your brand new Mac Mini, which is gonna be one of the fastest computers out there. And you get to keep the equipment that you have. You don't have to be purchasing new monitors just to make this work the best, you know? So that's one trick where you can make that work. And I hope that solved your issues. If you were thinking about, you know, purchasing this or if you already had it, you were thinking about returning it. That's one trick where you can maximize your resolution. So there you have it. That's the trick in order to maximize your resolution on your ultra wide monitor. Let me know in the comment section below, did this work for you? Is there a new way that I don't know about in order to maximize your resolution? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're new here or like watching my videos, make sure to like and subscribe as I will keep making more tech videos for you guys. Until next time, it's Brian. Peace out.